What's up, people? Welcome back to Teller Made Kicks. Let's see what we got. Sneaker view. Shout out to all the sneaker heads, collectors, and all those who like fly kicks. Today we got a holy grail, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Jordan 13 Blue Flints. Check them out. Holy Grail. Holy Grail. Okay, people, let's get into the box. Standard uh, gray, silver, Jordan 13 box. You'll see the red Jordan Jumpman logo. And I'll show you all the shoe tab. Um, I got these from StockX. So the shoe tab reads Air Jordan 13 Retro. The colorway is navy, university blue, and I got these in a size eight and a half from Stock X. Okay, people, let's get into the shoe. The year is 1998, when the original Blue Flint Jordan 13s were released in February for I believe the price was 150 at the time and uh, this is the 2020 version so this is a retro version of that sneaker uh, I got these from stock X for I'm gonna say 210 215 so that's not bad um, but Jordan 13s are in my top five of Jordans let me know in the comments where Jordan 13s rank for you um, this uh, particular colorway is uh, the holy grail or some may say the best colorway in Jordan 13s is the blue flint or the he got games my favorite colorway in Jordan 13 is actually the breads but these are comparable to the red flints so y'all let me know if y'all like the red flints or the blue flints the red flints or the blue flints all right people like I said these do fit true to size um, so I got these in the eight and a half they are super comfortable uh, the most comfortable Jordan model for me is the Jordan 13. So uh, Michael never actually played in this colorway, but they do drop, um, which is considered a UNC uh, colorway in each uh, Jordan. So you'll see the navy blue, I mean the UNC or Carolina blue Jumpman on these. This is a, a a darker blue than normal that you would see on the UNC colorway, but I'm not mad at it. It's uh, really catchy. I'm not mad at it. All right, people. So you'll see the hologram or what they call the cat eye on the back of the Jordan 13, and it reflects with... Uh, Jordan Jumpman logo or the number 23. I actually never peel the sticker off of these I'll just wear them until it like falls off or sometimes it just stays on Let me know in the comments if y'all take off the plastic covering of the hologram All right, this uh, 2020 version is uh, most relatable to the original 1998 version because this beautiful blue on the side is also 3m so it reflects 
in the nighttime. There were earlier versions that retro versions that released that didn't have the three um. I like that three um that reflects uh on, on like a camera flash or at nighttime. Y'all let me know if y'all prefer the three um uh, reflection over just the standard. But let's go through the shoe. Uh, the bottom or the outsole, there's a carbon fiber plate underneath here, but it's only on the mid of your foot. It's not throughout the whole sneaker, but the carbon fiber plate is there for added structure. You'll see another uh, Jordan Jumpman logo hologram on the bottom and uh UNC blue or this blue flint colorway oh it's uh surrounded by a black outline with white track pads once again this is the most comfortable Jordan model for me um these are made with what they call synthetic leather leather so you'll see white leather on the toe cap going up the tongue it says Jordan right here on the shoestring tab at the bottom. And like I said before, that UNC Jordan Jumpman logo. On the midsole, you'll see a great a Swedish, I'm going to say a new buck, a suede gray on the midsole, which is actually darker than the original I prefer. It's also on the back hill. I prefer this uh, darker gray over the original lighter gray. Um, the upper is what they call the bear or the cat paw. So you'll see little divots going through the upper signifying like a, a cat paw. Um, they come with white shoe strings. Only, I would say, no lace swaps on these beautiful originals. Leave them be, just how they are. And, once again, Jordan 13, Blue Flints. It's one of my top five Jordan models. Uh, highly regarded as the greatest colorway in uh, Jordan 13's. Y'all let me know which is your color, your favorite colorway. The original He Got Games from the movie. Mine is the breads. The black and red ones. Uh, I also have the blue braves. And like two pairs of the all black playoffs. So what is your favorite colorway? The original He Got Games. The blue flints. The Red Flints, the Playoffs, which one? Let us know in the comments. But a must have for all sneakerheads and collectors, whenever this shoe drops, I would definitely grab. Now people, is this a wear, stash, or resale? This is definitely a wear for me. This is definitely a wear for me. Let me know in the comments would these be a wear, stash, or a resale for you. If I had to rate this shoe, I would give this shoe a 9 out of 10. I would give this shoe a 9 out of 10. It's uh, almost just about perfect. I would give this shoe a 9 out of 10. Y'all let me know in the comments. Which y'all would rate this show. It's from the 90's. Golden era of sneakers. This is the 90's collection. Y'all see me posting more videos. On sneakers that dropped in the 90's. Which I consider the greatest era. Of sneakers. But make sure y'all. Tune into the live show. Every Wednesday at 8pm. Uh, check out Teller Made Kick Story Time. Check out uh, Teller Made Kicks Tutorials. And all other sneaker reviews. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments. 
uh, like, share, hit that live bell notification. I'll show you an on-foot look of these bad boys. You can wear these with shorts, sweatpants, jeans, just about anything. And these will still be fire. And they are super comfortable. So, we are out of here, people.